And it's time for the Hebrew of the week. And we are in Ruth 2, chapter 20. See if you can pronounce the Hebrew of this line. Here's my attempt. Uh, Vatomer Naomi Naomi uh, La Kalata uh, Baruch Hu La Adonai or La Yahweh. All right. So Vatomer is like Vayomer, and it's and she said, and Naomi said. So this is Bob talk doubling. It's a converted imperfect or a Vayiktol or a preterite. And she said, it's call. It's uh, because it's uh, imp converted imperfect, this is the um, third feminine singular performative. Um, have we said everything there? Third feminine singular, um, a call converted imperfect from Amar. So, and Naomi said, subject comes after the verb, uh, la is two, two, and then the a ah at the end, I'm a real hey. It's a mapik there saying it's a consonantal hey. It's the possessive her to her. And then uh, Kala is daughter-in-law. And Naomi said to her daughter-in-law, which is Ruth, by the way, Baruch, uh, which is, this is a, a, a GP or a call passive. Uh, the Sharuk after the second radical is the, is the um, Barack Obama, is blessed Obama or bless, you know, anyway, he blesses Obama, something like that. But um, uh, so this is a, a call passive passive or a GP participle, being blessed, blessed be he, um, there's an implied be in here, blessed be who is he, Hebrew is a language where who is he and he is she, and me is who, and dog is fish, anyway, um, so who is he, so blessed is he to Yahweh, blessed is he to God, blessed is he to the Lord, so what what's going on in the story, well, uh, Ruth was in the field. Boaz says, who's that? Humana, 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 who's this? And they say, well, that's Ruth. She's Naomi's daughter-in-law. And he said, give her some stuff. And so uh, Ruth uh, harvests some good barley, I think it is, brings it back to Naomi and and chomp, 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 good food. So who who did this? And, and um, she says, it's Boaz. And so Naomi says, blessed be him before Yahweh. See if you can pronounce this. Here's my attempt. Asher lo azav kasdo et hakayim v'et hametim. Okay, uh, the quote starts here. Blessed be him before, blessed be he before Yahweh. Asher who, that's the relative pronoun, who did not forsake. That Well, actually it's referring to Yahweh. Yahweh did not forsake. This is a perfect third masculine singular Call, it's the most, it's the vocabulary form. Uh, blessed be he before Yahweh, Yahweh who did not forsake, uh, Kasdo, his, the whole and Vav is his, his Kesed, his faithfulness, his, his fidelity, his loving kindness, uh, his good stuff. He didn't forsake his good stuff. He saved some good stuff for us. Who did not forsake his faithfulness to the living and the dead. Et is the definite direct object marker, which is not really a verb here. He did not forsake. Well, okay. Well, it really, in English, we have to say something like his faithfulness to the living and to the dead. These The Hirkyod Mems here are masculine plural suffixes. So Naomi's talking about her husband and her sons. So Yahweh has not forsaken them because I love it when a plan comes together. Naomi can see that something really good is going, something good is going on here. All right. So, any questions about that? Put it in the chat. So, here's uh, the next line. See if you can pronounce that. And here's my attempt. Batomer la Naomi karov lanu nanu nanu haish. And she said, this is again the um, call, converted imperfect, third feminine singular from Amar, vavt patak doubling. It's a yabayiktol form. It's a preterite. It's a converted imperfect. And she said, third feminine singular, to her. La is to, and that's the consonantal hey, her, object here. I'm a real hey, because it has a mapik in it. Naomi said to her, and now another quote, uh, Karov, he's a relative. Uh, Na, la nu, uh, he's a relative to us. La is to, and nu is us. Uh, this is a uh, noun here, I think, karo, uh, Karov, he's a relative. Um, Haish is the, is the man. 
the man. Uh, hey is the. It doesn't double because Aleph is a guttural and it says, I don't do doubling. I tried to shoot a Dagesh in there and it ricocheted back and made a Patak into a Kamans. Not really. Okay, so uh, relative to us is the man. Have to insert the is in there. And the final part of this, Migo Alenu Who? Who is he? Uh, and then mem, mem hiric doubling is min, the preposition min from, but nun assimilates when no vowel separates, and so it becomes a doubled gimel. So va go a le nu, and then nu is our. Uh, so our he is uh, from our goel is he, uh, which is something like from our kin is he, uh, but a goel is is more than just a kin. Um, he is potentially a kinsman redeemer. That is to say, um, the, in, in, in Deuteronomy, it's something like the law of leveret marriage. You know, if a son dies, if, if, a, if, a, if, a, son, if a guy dies, then the brother takes up the wife, then the next brother takes the wife, then the another, next brother takes the wife, trying to raise up seed uh, for, the, for the dead, deceased older brother. Um, this is a more, a broader concept. It's not as, as, as um, maybe formalized as in Deuteronomy. Um, uh, and so the, the sense is here is that um, it's the nearest of kin. The nearest of kin should take care of. Um, so if, if a man dies uh, and he has no offspring, especially if he has no male offspring, then somebody needs to raise up seed for him. Somebody needs to take care of the wife. Uh, and so uh, Boaz is in the ballpark. As we'll find out, there's one person who's a little bit closer in relation, uh, but that person says, no, you can you can take care of it. Um, now, this does not mean that Boaz is single. He, I suspect he already has other wives. Uh, he's a little older, probably. Um, we don't know these things for sure. The text doesn't say it, but given the culture, I mean, polygamy was uh, somewhat of a, of, a, of a common occurrence. So um, it's probably not, you know, we picture this one-on-one -on -one kind of love story. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself, but basically uh, Boaz is, he's kin, which means that he is in the ballpark of being a kinsman uh, redeemer um, who can take care of Ruth, take her into his family and raise up offspring for uh, the brother that is dead. Well, there you have it, uh, Ruth 2.20. Um, let me remind you that I wrote a book called Biblical Hebrew for the Novice. It's very good, I think. It teaches you how to use the tools to understand Hebrew without memorizing everything. You can get the paperback on Amazon, uh, on my uh, on my uh, Shopify store. You can get the ebook if you want. And then I also have two Hebrew courses on Udemy, uh, Biblical Hebrew for the Novice. Uh, if if uh, if if the coupon code is expired again, I'll make I'll mint one just for you. Just put it in the comments. There's also a learning Biblical Hebrew inductively through the Book of Jonah. It goes from Jonah one one to the end of Jonah. Uh, also on Udemy. This has been the Hebrew of Zavik.